Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is for June. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? That was too many. What do we have for Libra? Guess that's it. And a flying. Lion. It's time to act. It's interesting because it went flying out of the deck. Flying lion. Okay. So, you know, it's something, it's time for you to take action in some way. Okay. Uh, let's see what comes up next. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I have to show it to you. I'm not going to take it because it was just, I'm going to go again. It says news of legalities. You may be, you may be, there may be some news of legalities that are coming up. You could be dealing with a Leo. Just saying. Um, anyhow, either way, action is going to be taken in some way. Okay, we got two. We're gonna have to take them. Oh boy, get ready. Hurricane season ahead. You don't know your value in some way. So that's interesting. Action is about to be taken action and your value is probably going to increase. The hurricane season is a tower moment. Okay, it is. It's a tower moment. So there's going to be a tower moment. There's going to be an event that increases your value. Okay. You may not like it, but the universe comes in and changes things because you're probably in a situation where you're not being valued in some way, you know, uh, and maybe you're just allowing it, you're accepting it, you know, and when that happens, when you don't know your value and you stay in a situation where, you know, it's not real, it's not stable, it's not secure, uh, the universe will uh, wipe it out so that you are forced, okay? So get prepared for some sort of event to happen that forces uh, you to increase your value in some way, you know, and forces your you to be valued, okay? You deserve to be valued, put it that way. Storms brewing. And maybe you think you know your value, but you know, uh, sometimes we don't, we think that everything is good. We think that we're, everything is great and it's not, it's not what God wants. It's not in our best interest. What do we have for Libra? The sun. The sun is a bright new beginning. It is a new day. It is a breakthrough. It is it is beauty. It is warmth. It is happiness. It is healing. It is uh, the birth of a new life. It is being accepted. Great health, healing. It's a life giving energy. So you, this is a beautiful new beginning here, where you can just be yourself. This is also a card of enlightenment and freedom. This is also a yes answer. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's a time of growth. It's it's a time of new beginnings. You have a beautiful new beginning here. Um, your in, in your vibration is going to raise. This is this is a healing energy. You're going to be shining. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be um, well. This is a breakthrough. It's a it's a it's extremely happy um, with some sort of situation that comes after a hurricane. Okay, so this, this is a new beginning. It is a new beginning, but it comes after you know a storm. Sun comes out tomorrow, okay? The sun comes out again. The sun, you know, going to a better place. This is this is a healing, very, very healing, beautiful energy. It's also clarity and light being shed. This is light. It's coming out of darkness. 
You could definitely be dealing with a Leo. It feels like there's or somebody that has a lot of Leo in their chart. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Truth. Truth. There's some sort of truth that is about to come out. You see that eye? That's the all-seeing eye up there. So I feel like uh, the universe sees all. I feel like the universe sees all, and the truth is about to come out. And I think it's going to be a. It's, I think it's going to be a very big truth. I think that we have somebody here that is uh, in a situation that is unstable. It is insecure. Um, it's not meant to be that way. And the universe is going to come and cause a disruption. Uh, it is. It's, it's a big disruption. What was that noise? Interesting. I just. Heard, I just heard like a ringing. I don't know if you heard it. A clanging. Anyhow, um, hurricane season is ahead. Be prepared. Get prepared because there's going to be an event that that uh, causes disruption in your life. You're in a situation where you don't know your value. I feel like you think that you do. I do. I feel like you think that you do. You think that this is stable. You think that this is good. You think that this is secure, but it's not. And the universe is going to cause a massive change. It's going to, this is enlightenment. Light is going to be shed. Some sort of truth is going to come out that is really going to shake up your life. For, and it may have to do with a move. Um, time to act. Action is about to be taken. And I feel like there's going to be some roaring involved. You know, uh, I don't know. Um, so anyway, let's read that truth card. Why don't we? In front of a dramatic sky, this card shows a mirror image of a warrior woman meeting her own reflection. And I said roar. And this is a this is warrior mode. It really is. I know that it is. Okay. With swords drawn, it seems conflict may be near. Sorry, I had to put a bandage on my finger. So there's swords that are drawn, so conflict may be near. But the all-seeing eye of truth presides, serving as a poignant reminder that what is done to another is ultimately done to the self. Oh my goodness. The double-edged sword capable of separation and liberation symbolizes dual powers of nature such as life, death, and victory, defeat. Like a sword... Truth is a sharp instrument worthy of the greatest respect. Depending on how they are wielded, both have the ability to destroy or heal. Only the maturity and wisdom of the user determines the outcome. In tarot, the suit of swords represents navigation of thought in the unseen realm of the mind. But when it comes to the application of truth, the unruly mind clever cleverly justifies all manner of things and distracts us away from our alignment to love it's interesting that i sensed that you feel you feel like you're in this perfect place i don't think it's true but anyhow um in tarot, the suit of swords represents navigation of thought in the unseen realm of the mind. But when it comes to the application of truth, the unruly mind cleverly justifies all manner of things and distracts us away from our alignment to love. Fear poses many challenges along the path to discovering the liberation of truth. Reactions of others, guilt and insecurity distract and rob us of the opportunity to clearly identify the truth of the matter. The presence of this powerful call, card, the presence of this powerful card is a call for authentic freedom. And this is a card of freedom as well. Bravely face your fears, step into the light of love and examine the essence of the situation. Rather than facing facts, perhaps you have been in a state of avoidance. If this is the case, it could be a reminder to sort the wheat from the chaff. 
so you see so that you can see clearly to move beyond the gravitational pull of old patterns you may also be searching for the reality behind your relationships to others or the deeper meaning of life in your place and purpose in it seeking the truth is a worthy quest on any level and can provide and, and can provide a significant opportunity for liberation and growth See where this card falls within your spread as the surrounding cards help provide context for understanding how truth applies to you at this time. So, something is about to be revealed to you that is going to cause a major upset, okay? Um, and I feel like you've been avoiding it, okay? There's healing and there's a new beginning that is needed here. You are meant to break free from something that isn't solid. And I feel like you feel like it is, but it's not. And action is about to be taken, okay? And I feel like the universe is at work here. I do feel like the universe is definitely at work. They're going to show you something, okay? Or they're going to put you in a predicament where there is a forced clarity okay there's forced uh revelation okay so that's what's coming so what do we have for libra and, we, and, and i got chills in both arms i was just thinking about this somebody what goes around comes around you know the double-edged sword what you do to others comes back to you i feel like I honestly feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with, okay? I think that you're dealing with somebody that uh, was unfair to you, okay? And, and 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 this could go either way. This could be for the cross watcher. Somebody is going to uh, get some karma. Put it that way. They are. They're going to get some karma. This karma is going to force a change. Okay, and a new beginning is going to commence from that change. And it's going to be beautiful and it's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy. But it's not going to be easy. You could also be dealing with a Leo. I don't know why I want to say Leo, but I feel like it's a fire sign. It could be this is a Leo, this is a Leo as well, but I feel like there's a lot of fire energy here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's very, very feisty, that wants to fight, that uh, likes to fight, that has picked a lot of fights with you in the past, or hasn't taken care of you, or something like that. I feel like this is, has to do with that person, um, and I feel like there's, there's, uh, going to be a major disruption. Anyhow, so what do we have for Libra? This is seeing light. Seeing the light. It starts out real bad and it ends beautifully. The sun again. Oh boy. This is beautiful. It is a beautiful new beginning. It is seeing the light. Somebody is seeing the light. They are seeing the light. This is... A new day it is a new beginning this is a bright a big bright ray of light um, healing very 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 healing energy this is the birth of a new life there could also be a reunion here and I'm not sure if it has to do with siblings or children because I happen to see these children family members Truth. Beautiful new beginning here. A couple of yes answers. Yes, this is so beautiful. This is this is like wow. Hangman. Three of Pentacles. New perspective is about to be gained. You are completely unaware that this is coming. Completely unaware. You know, unpredictable. This is definitely unpredictable. New perspective is about, you are about to gain a new perspective. This is not something that you could predict. 
is totally unpredictable. Here we have uh, teamwork, we have togetherness. This is in the past. Somebody that you worked with in the past, somebody that you have teamed up with in the past, there could be a reunion. This is creating a new life. What is this? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is love. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. Neglect. Abandonment. Victim mentality. Total loss. Complete loss. There's some sort of complete loss here because somebody had a victim mentality. They would not accept help. I feel like there's a team, there's a team here that is seeing some sort of truth and it and, and act and they're taking action right now. There's a team and I don't know if it's a team from up above or it's a team, you know, in the in this plane, you know, the earthly plane, but there's a team that is taking action. There's a team of people that are taking action right now. And it has to do with healing. There is a healing opportunity here, definitely. This is acting right now, acting very, very fast, gathering the information. Ace of Cups is all about love. It's a new start in love. It's a very healing energy. It's a flood of intuition. It's a flood of emotion. There's there's definitely going to be, this is, there's an emotional, this is arrival or entrance or departure, okay? This is definitely emotional, extremely emotional. Somebody could be, they're either arriving out of nowhere or they're leaving out of nowhere. Somebody is making a heartfelt move. They're following their heart. They're following their gut. They've, it feels like they've done some sort of work. They've, they've come up with a plan. It's very interesting. There's been some neglect. There's been some abandonment. This could be the end of neglect, the end of abandonment, uh, a beautiful new beginning here. Uh, five of Pentacles reversed is some sort of hardship, total ruin because would not accept help. Somebody would not accept help because they, but they had a victim mentality, but they wouldn't listen to any advice. We have some, because this is not listening to any advice. Somebody wouldn't listen to any advice because they thought that they knew it all. It's very, very stubborn. We have a stubborn individual here that would not change. And now they're going to be experiencing a huge loss. But I feel like, I, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you're going to be receiving a benefit. I feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with that is, is having the loss. They're losing it all. And I just feel like that's the way it is. I feel like um, whoever you're dealing with is very, very impulsive. They sit on a high horse. This person is on a very, very high horse. They... Uh, They're making a sudden move. They're doing something suddenly. And I feel like whatever it is that they're doing, it feels like, to me, without any cards, I feel like there's there's somebody that is doing something with, you know, um, they're acting on their emotions. This is acting on emotions. Somebody is doing something suddenly. Ah, and they don't have good intentions. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. This person is very cold. They are very, very cold. They, they are controlling. They're emotionally withdrawn. They don't communicate well. And I feel like they're being watched. I just feel like they're, and maybe, I don't know if they're being watched by the higher power or whatever. It feels like they're being watched by a team of people. And they're doing something without thinking. They're doing something impulsively, acting on their feelings. And it feels like it's going to cause a disaster. And I don't know where that's coming from. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very flighty. This person is not very intuitive. I feel like uh, they, they can't master their emotions. I feel like they're in their feelings. They're in their emotions. They're going to do something you know, this is fierce. This is a fear. This is fierce emotions. It is. And they, they are, this is like, 
It's sad. It is sad. This is not somebody who has good intentions that is emotionally uh, connected. Anyway, I feel like this is somebody in your past that uh, neglected you in some way. And that's where we have this double-edged sword. They, they abandoned you. They ghosted you. They didn't take care of you. This person is now has a team that is uh, going after them. Put it that way. Okay? And this team doesn't... It's not about the feelings. Okay? It's about uh, real love. It's about real love. It's not about... And feelings are about love, so it's hard to explain. It's not about your feel. It's not about their feelings anymore. It's about what you did. It's about what you did. You didn't do it out of love. You didn't do the. You didn't do the right thing. So now you're gonna experience the storm. And I don't feel like it's you. And I would tell you if it was. Okay. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. So the fire sign. I really feel like it's a fire sign. Or somebody has a lot of fire in their chart. Could be a water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person does things without thinking. <clears throat> I do believe, I think that you're going to receive some emotional news about this person. And maybe it breaks you free from their grasp. Because there's freedom here. There is definitely freedom and liberation. There's freedom here, and we talked about liberation in here. We have liberation here. So you are being freed from a situation that is not for your highest good. But you thought it was, but it's not. I think that you have been controlled, you know, or something, or maybe even obsessed with that hangman. Or, you know, maybe maybe you were hanging on to this situation, hoping that it would get better. But whoever you're dealing with is extremely stubborn. They're not very awakened. They're not very spiritual. They don't listen to any advice. This person refuses to budge. They refuse to, refuse to wake up. You know, but they're about to get a wake-up call. Absolutely, 100%. Anyhow, and I think that you are uh, going to be, I, f I don't even need a card. I feel like you're going to be put in a position. I think that you're going to be put in a very much better position, okay? You're going to be given an opportunity. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity in some way. You're going to, it's almost like relief. I feel relief, instant relief almost. Like, whew. <sighs> It's a very healing energy. It's like, whew. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces as well. I feel like, because we have Pisces like three times here. You, so I see Leo, and I see Pisces, and I see teaming up. I see teaming up. Uh, page of Pentacles reverse, and the Page of Pentacles reverse is a dead end. It is uh, dropping out. We have somebody here that is very unhealthy, that doesn't follow through, that doesn't focus, that hasn't focused, has lost sight of their goal. They were given an opportunity to do something and they didn't do it. They didn't do it. They didn't follow through. They didn't commit themselves to it. And now they're losing an opportunity. They're losing it. They're losing it. This is unplanned. It is an unplanned, unpredictable loss of some sort. And I think you're going to be given... This is a gift. I feel like you're going to be given a gift. This is a turning point of some sort. It is with that five of pentacles reverse. You're going to be a new, you're going to be needing a new you're going to be getting a new perspective really really fast. We have somebody here that has been has a hidden agenda, had hidden agendas. I think you're dealing with more than one person as well. I feel like there's more than I think I feel like there's been a team, maybe somebody teamed up against you. Those people getting karma. They're about to have a huge loss. It's karma time. And you're getting a gift. 
you're getting some sort of abundance. You are. I don't think it was you because you're all about justice. I don't think it was you. I really don't. I think that you are going to be getting some sort of a gift. You're going to be getting a gift. You're going to be given some sort of opportunity that is long term, that is permanent, that can lead you down the path to success. This is this is a new investment. It is a new business. It's a new home. It's a it's a new life. You got a new life that is about to begin. What you've been being what you have hung on to is dropping away. It's something is being dropped. Something is, is dropping out of your life. And I think you've been stubbornly waiting and stubbornly sacrificing yourself for this situation. Truth is about to be revealed. Somebody's secret. Somebody's been keeping secrets. And they've been trying to prove something that isn't that they've been lying about. They have. This person is very insecure. They're not stable. They're not solid. They don't follow through. They're very unhealthy. And they're going down. Listen to the sirens as that happens. Universe is taking action right now. And you are about to receive a blessing. You have been... This is abandoned. Ghosted. Taken advantage of. You got something beautiful coming in for you. You're going to be receiving something that you totally don't expect. I feel like you have, there's been some secrets here. Somebody is very, very stingy as well. They're stingy. It's action time. It really, really is. You got, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new beginning for you. You're about to begin a new life where there is relief and healing and love. Get prepared to receive an offer that leads you down a new path towards prosperity. This is also a yes answer. So you have a couple, three of them. Yes, yes, yes. You've been dealing with somebody that is not very spiritual, that lies a lot. This person lies. They don't tell the truth. I mean, I feel like there's a team that is catching them not telling the truth. And now you're receiving the justice. And I don't even need the justice card. Anyhow, get prepared for a new beginning here. It is absolutely beautiful. You are being blessed with a new opportunity that you can take to the bank that, that will last. This is something that is going to make you extremely happy. If you have been suffering financially, you might see an increase. Whoever you're dealing with that um, didn't follow through, they're not. Uh-uh. No way. I think something is about to go down that is going to completely shock you. Good luck.